you look behind us, this is the Ibis Hotel. I've stayed here before actually, it's okay, like budgie style hotel. And on this soy here, soy wine, you can nip straight down to the beach. So we're gonna have a walk down here and have a look at the beach a bit, eh? Let's go and take a look. It's good to be back in Hua Hin and I've been here for a week or two again. Nice, good old golf carts. Just come down and arrived and it's absolutely just, I think it's because it's been raining. This last night it's proper windy and rainy. Look, it's proper like waves and windy, it's crazy. Not not normal for white in there, it's quite unusual. Normally the ocean would be out, but obviously because of the weather last night. And this is like mid-January as well, I'm surprised. You definitely can't swim there today guys it's proper like windy i don't know why it's like this because of the weather's a bit off last night you know oh really good right let's move on to our next one it was nice to go and have a look though but no swimming today guys we're going to check out this place today it's open 8 30 till 7 o'clock every day closed on oh closed on wednesdays though so don't come on wednesdays so let's go and take a look in here all right let's try this sauna out this is a thai sauna i think that's something it looks a bit steamy in here. Let's have a go. Oh, it's too dark. Can you see me? Maybe we get by the light. No, I can't see me. Oh, I can honestly say that Thai sauna is awesome. Oh, they've got like herbs in there, ginger and lemon and all that kind of thing. And the atmosphere around here is beautiful. I don't really want to film too much because there's a few people around, you know, I've got to be a bit careful. <laughs> It's about 300 baht to get in here guys, so not too, not too expensive. They have sauna here, massage, Thai sauna, haircuts, pretty much everything. Manicure, men's shaving, I can see over there now. Oh, all different kind of things you can get done here. Ooh, look at this guys. It's uh, this is like, oh, I don't know what it is. Like a steam sauna, I'm quite sure. Check this out here. Got like steam coming out of the middle, see it? The bubble's coming up. Oh, it's so cool. I think this is a Swedish one or Thai one, I don't know. They said something, one of them's a Swedish one. Someone tell me in the comments, guys. Great place to come here if you're in White Hill. Check this place out. Right, that was freaking amazing. Onward and upward, take you to the next exciting place in Hoi Hin. Just noticed this Muay Thai gym just, uh, I don't know how long this one's been here, but it looks pretty cool actually. Really good fitness equipment inside. Huh? Uh, on soy 102. I'll have to get my boys going there when we're down in White Hin, I think. Okay, right. Onward and upward to the next place. The scenes that were up this soy 102, there's lots of quite Western stuff up here, to be honest with you. I've seen a couple of butchers and one or two different, you know, hotels that look very Western, to be honest. So, okay, it's a bus station here on this main road just down from Blueport. To get bus to the Bangkok Sombat Tour. Here, have a look, main road here. So if you want to get to Bangkok, you can get the bus from here, guys, okay? From the bus station, we're just gonna have a walk up to Blue Port and have a look there. This is like the big shopping mall in Hoa Hin that sells all kinds of uh, goods in there. Not really for food, but like, well, they do sell food in there, but other things like clothing and other things you want to get from the shopping, like a big shopping mall, really. It's a huge massage place next to Blue Port. It's called, have a look, let's relax. It's one of the original ones actually. It's been here a long time. Yeah, it says the original since 1998. Hang on, that was before I got here, I think. Yep, I think it was, so it's been here a while. I'm sure there's other ones that have been here longer. I'm not sure. Fill us in on the comments, guys. Let us know the first massage you had in Hoa Hin. Maybe this is one of the branch ones, you know, like a chain of ones that came here. Obviously there was some other freelance ones here, probably back in the 60s and 70s, you know. No idea, I wasn't here then. I wasn't even born then. Well, I was born in the 70s. Okay guys, this is the entrance to Blue Port here. You got the Intercontinental, Intercontinental Hotel over there, which is, uh, yeah, quite a brand hotel. Let's go and have a look in Blue Port now, guys.
had to cut the sound, guys, because there's music playing in Blueport. I don't want to get copyright claim. So, yeah, usual suspects here, Starbucks, coffee club. And, you know, it's just a big mall, to be honest with you. Nothing that special. Just a normal mall, to be honest. And lots of fish in the water everywhere. And just you can get all your stuff in there that you need for your house and whatnot, you know, if you just need stuff. And Burger King and McDonald's, I think, with their KFC and the usual haunts, you know. Right, enough of Blue Paw. Let's move on to somewhere new. Let's go, guys. I've got something really cool lined up now. Let's go and have a look. Mini Cooper. Oh, don't see many of them. See a few actually in Bangkok. Surprising what kind of. Not Bangkok, I mean, who are in Georgia? Pillock. Yeah, it's surprising how many we see actually. Different bloody imported cars over here. It's surprising, man. There's some money in Thailand sometimes. I always love these signs. This one says Kaidoan, which means like sell quick, sell cheap, like get it going, get it gone. But I mean, it's on the main road here, but obviously, probably where the house is, it says 60 Delangwa, four bedrooms, bathrooms. So yeah, I think it's like miles back there somewhere because we're right next to the beach here. So I don't think it's here. Not sell cheap next to the beach, that's for sure. In Wai Hin, between Blueport and Market Village, sell cheap? I don't think so an absolute fortune any land would round here dental clinic there guys nana nah, dental clinic no idea if it's any good just showing you what's about guys this one here i think there's a lot of these dental clinics around Th thailand i remember when i first came to thailand it says tampan which means like make teeth so basically they fix your teeth got a look at this guy Woohoo! Love that guy. Hope you're loving the vibe today down in Hua Hin. It's good to do a different kind of vlog, just me wandering around showing you loads of shit. <laughs> it's, uh, it's all good, you know. There's so many of these cafes and bakeries everywhere. I mean, I just went to Starbucks, as I think I've just shown you on the video. And yeah, it's just like so many different ones. I only go there because it's expensive. I just want to show my worth, I'm joking. No, I only go there because I like the coffee, to be honest, which is really bad, isn't it? I know. It's terrible, isn't it? Like in Starbucks coffee, but never mind. Ah, okay, we've arrived now, so hang on. All right, so 94 is down that way there. So if you go off down this road here, I saw 94 down there. And then down this way, down here, we've got Market Village. We're gonna walk down to in a minute. And on this side here, you've got, there's a good pizzeria actually there. That pizza, I've been there before, it's lovely. I remember going there, Grasso Pizzeria. There's a few restaurants around here too. Definitely that pizza place, I remember it. I've been there before, it's awesome. Right, let's walk down a bit, see what's down this road. So I think a lot of you hang out on this road a bit because you're all, Coming to, a lot of people coming here as tourists, so this little stretch, you know, you see a lot of, so you want to know what's on this road. What is this place here? The karaoke and then the massage here looks all good. Looks a bit of fun in there. Try that out on a Friday night. So just after Soy 88, we've arrived at Market Village. So there, Market Village. Loads of tuk-tuks for the tourists. And then you go in this. Market Village is like, a, it's not really a shopping center. It's more like just food place, to be honest. Unusual suspect Starbucks. Yeah, just another shopping mall. I'm not gonna show you in there, but it's just another kind of shopping mall. Uh, just different than, different than Blueport, you know. Just a bit smaller, low key. But it's okay, it's nice. Got some, got a good supermarket at the bottom. And here, it looks like they've got a bit of a market on here, actually. Let's have a quick look. Loads of fresh stuff. But there's loads of music blaring, so I don't want to get copyright law. So yeah, loads of stuff going on here. And uh, well, that's a new addition. We're inside there now. Huh? Okay, so yeah, just usual stuff in there. Home Pro is next door, I think. There's a bike shop as well over there. Yeah, it's just another kind of shopping mall, just lesser, more touristy. And you can get down to the beach opposite Market Village and just shoot down one of these alleys, straight down, not that one, 
I think further up and you can get straight down to the beach that way uh, so it's pretty cool I've done that before get a bit hot on the beach come back up then if you walk down a bit further down there soy 80 which is like another kind of bar street like soy 94 but I'll show you them on another video sometime not today sorry I can't do everything in one day so I'm showing you just around the main kind of a kind of tourist hotspots, you know. And then other day, other videos, I'll show you around some expat areas, and, you know, more where I think expats go rather than tourists. But I think tourists now with YouTube, they're kind of, they're pretty smart. You know, a lot of tourists are watching YouTube and finding the better places, the better places to go to eat, the better places to go for everything these days. Look at this. Got a love wine in. What a great day. And it's not hot today. It's really nice, it's like 25 degrees. Not hot, he said. Look at the Chinese New Year all going up now. Ready in a few weeks. That's when this is filmed, so middle of January. Actually, middle of January, not, not Chinese New Year yet, but soon, soon. There's Market Village. Check it out. Absolutely awesome. Over there. Great place to come. There's some luxury uh, villas for sale here, guys. I'll show you on the screen now. Some of them are like, well, expensive, but you know, people come here with different budgets. So let's have a look at some of these here. Let's have a look. Everyone's on different budgets in Hua Hin, you know, some people, you know, want somewhere really beautiful, you know, and they've got the money and why not? If you can afford it, why not? Heading back down the beach because I'm an egg case and they're out of coffee. Right, let's get down and have a look down here. I'll show you down on Waihe Beach today. Let's have and have a look. It's proper windy down here today. I don't know what's going on with the weather. It's mid-January. Let's get down there quick. I've had that coffee and I'm going in. Ooh, check this out guys, beautiful. Check it out, Waihin Beach on the middle of January. Oh, they got the kite surfers up, look. Have a look out here, kite surfing. Up there, check it out, absolutely great. Windy day, look at the waves today, it's proper windy. Very unusual for Waihin. Very, very unusual. Stretch goes on for miles and miles both ways. And check this out on the right here, have a look. Riding their horses on the beach, fantastic. And a lot of tourists here by the look of it, you know, a lot of people chilling on the beach. Fantastic, absolutely beautiful. I'll leave it there today from the Luz 88. I'll check that out next time, guys. Take it easy. Don't forget to subscribe, you buggers. Don't forget to subscribe. Press that button. Bang, bang, bang. I'm going for a brew. I'll see you next week, guys.